Oh my gosh, he just flopped down. Oh, I am in love. I am in love. Look at these baby penguin puffin piranhas. I, I want an entire colony of them. I am so happy right now. I can't believe this. I was going to play this very seriously, no pun intended, and I was going to step in and be like, hey, welcome to a brand new expedition and a brand new world. Here we are returning to the realm of Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero, the first expansion pack for Subnautica, which I'm pretty excited about. This is an early access version, just so you guys know, getting that out of the gate, things are going to be buggy, things are going to crash, and we will probably have to set off on this expedition multiple times before we can really begin to build a base that we will be super happy with. But before I could come in and start playing this seriously, I loaded the game up and find myself staring at baby penguin puffin piranhas, and all I know is the joy of this world. I have a mission already. It is to build an entire colony of these things. I don't care if I have to like tackle one of them and steal their eggs and like defend myself. I need to have just a colony of these little ones surrounding me. This is perfect. But anyway, welcome you guys. I am Siri the Pixel Biologist and I adore adventuring in new worlds and going on new expeditions in search of all sorts of fascinating pixel biology. And clearly we are entering one of my all time favorite favorite games, Subnautica, and their reliable world of aliens. So we're going to set off on another alien expedition. For Below Zero, it is set one year after the events of Subnautica, which yes, I am willing to admit I have not yet completed. I really need to get around to doing that, but at least we can be there from the beginning with Below Zero. So now that we've gotten my squeeing over baby puffin penguin things out of the way, let's go ahead and begin with just a quick reminder, things are gonna be a little buggy, but I wanted to, you know, enjoy it with you guys along the way. So let's see, should we do survival, crash land on a dangerous alien planet? scavenge resources and manage hunger and thirst to survive and we could do creative where we have no constraints hardcore one life freedom like survival but without hunger or thirst you know what we're gonna do this right we're gonna try to survive <gasps> whoa we're gonna try to survive on a brand new beautiful icy planet I know almost nothing more about this world and this realm that we are a about to enter other than the fact it is set like I said a year after the events of Subnautica we have crash landed and will be struggling to survive on land and in water on this planet and there's going to be so many new alien life forms to search out and try to study as my job as a xenobiologist studying the creatures of space all right let's do this gosh, I have plans. This is so cool. Um, okay, that's my alarm, I guess. So let's open up our tab, turn off our alarm. Nice little stretch. Are we in our... Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> Look at my little eyeball fish. Oh, hey, and it's a boomerang fish. Look at that bladder fish. Okay, I really love this so far. Absolutely adore the beautiful aquarium. Is that me? <gasps> Tell me that's me. That has to be me. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Is there any other information about this? Oh my gosh. I this this is this is the life I want right here. That that I either that's me or like the goal of who I want to become and she is like up on my wall. I love this. I've got another really amazing plant right here. Very, very excited. We've got more pictures here. Jeez, I don't even recognize that guy. I really need to get back into the first Subnautica. All right, do I need any gear? Can I grab anything? What else do I have? Nothing equipped, nothing in my inventory. Uh, all text and voice work is in progress and not representative of final quality. So yes, just a very, very quick reminder early access, everything's going to change, but at least we're going to be here from the beginning to be able to fill out this data bank full of alien animals and life forms, including hopefully more plants. Oh, hey, abandoned PDA. Don't mind if I do. Can I download the data? Robin Goodall, alter application interview. Okay. 
Is that me, Robin? What have you, why have you applied for this role? Everyone's talking about 4546B. Who hasn't applied? Maybe Jeffrey's. No, Jeffrey's signed on last week. Why this assignment? Oh, this must be about the assignment that we're, we're possibly going to crash land on in a second here. The last time we found sentient alien life was straighter six, 16, 17 years ago. It's been quite fun, but frankly, I'm bored. And you have telepathic squid. I should tell you that rumors about spacefaring aliens on the planet are rumors. If that's why you're here, you'll be disappointed. No, don't tell me that. There were penguin puffin piranhas. I'm a zingo linguist. Spacefaring aliens are a holy grail. I want it, but don't get. Uh, but I don't expect to get it. What qualifies you for this position? There are creatures out there that you couldn't imagine, let alone understand. Do you know how to talk to them? Do you know? Uh, let's see. Do you know how I talk to them? I think you correlate responses against stimuli. I do whatever they do. Oh my gosh, I love this woman. If they bathe in liquid nitrogen and talk with their feet, I'll put on a coat and pull on a handstand. But this recruitment process, it's most alien of all. So I'm trying to correlate my responses here. I want us to understand each other. Put me on that planet. I'll talk with the fish for you. Thank you, Miss Goodall. Sandra? Sandra? Sandra, we'll show you out. Sandra? All right, it looks like we almost got denied for an interview, but I love the spirit of this person. If that's us, like stand on a handstand. Oh, that's perfect. All right. All right, good. There's really cool plants. I've got to admire them because I'm probably never going to see them again because we're probably about to crash. Look at that little guy. Oh, all right. Anything inside here? Nope. All right. Well, I'm literally, I've got nothing on me other than what appears to be a failed interview and a new world to hopefully discover. <gasps> wow! Wow, 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 wow! Look at that! I thought we crash landed. I thought that things were really bad here, but so far so good. I mean, look at our lab. This is fantastic. Uh, let's see. Remember information remember information leading to the activation of alien technologies is reported with automatic rights buyout and a 10,000 credit bonus. Okay, so if we can activate alien technology, you get a bonus. <laughs> Research of cultural or historical value is not included in the bonus. Buyouts still apply. Uh, hmm. All right. So, yes, we want to focus on unlocking alien technology, but apparently who cares about cultural or historical value? I guess we work for quite the drab company. Is that coffee? Oh my gosh, that's coffee. Wow. Can I, like, hey, hey, give. Give. Uh, all right, it feels like I should be raiding this place. The Vesper, your eyes in the sky over alien worlds. Okay, there's trash here. Well, okay, but like, I wanna go outside, but since we have nothing on, I'm a little concerned about that. Is this my room again? No, hey, it's somebody else's bedroom. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> That's so cute. Hi, little one. All right, don't mind me, just casually, wait, abandoned? Weekly report, reach base zero. All right, week 26, staff, Robin Goodall, Joe Jeffries, and TBC. Uh, let's see, filed by Robin, so Robin filed this. All right, research samples categorized five, commercial potential zero, performance D. Please rate your operations performance in your own words. We drilled an ice tunnel to encourage a flock of penguins, oh my gosh, is that what they're called, to surface near the habitat, where we've been recording their behavior and accessed a frozen over facility, interpreted the symbols on an alien control panel, and hotwired it to accept Altera frequencies. I think we deserve a C+. Oh my gosh, okay, so they drilled an ice tunnel, gotta take note of the things we might be able to potentially do, to encourage a flock of penguins, mind you, to come near the habitat. Uh, we've recorded, I wonder if we can record their behavior. I would really love if you could do more interactions with like recording the behaviors of the alien life forms you find instead of just like getting a quick data research on them. And apparently they found a frozen over facility, got the alien control panel working, and hot wired it so that it would accept Altera frequencies. Uh, let's see. Please rate your satisfaction with Altera support. I'd give it a D. It'd be lower, but my sister's carrying the rest of you. Please describe your plan steps for self-improvement. I'm going to bed. 
Okay, so it looks like you have to file this report and it looks like we work for some sort of horrible, like, commercialization company. Not cool. And there's a lot of clothes in here. Can I just please have some so I can go outside? All right, well, that's very cute. All right, so there's a scattering all over the place of Goodall's stuff. Here's the lab. Hi, cuties. All right, all right. Anything in here? Looking for more data pads, really. Okay, oh, there's sample containers. Ooh, I wonder if I can put a pinglin egg in there. Man, I'm gonna miss this entire place. It's probably gonna blow up any second now. Emperor produces enzyme. Peeper delivers the enzyme. Ecosystem. Emperor relies on ecosystem for food chain. Hmm. Peepers, huh? You guys apparently do a lot more than I realized. I really should have finished Subnautica before doing this, but that's okay. All right, let's get a quick glimpse of what it looks like over here. There's some more stuff over there. All right, does this go outside? Yes! Wow! Is that some sort of alien tech over there? Look at the moons! Look at the flowers! Look at those plants! I am the good old woman! Look, you can see her! You can actually see her shadow! This is so cool! I am the penguin mother! Where are my penguins? What are those? Yes! Give me that suit! Oh my gosh! Okay, is that useful? Okay, can't use anything there Station yet. Zero. This is Vesper. Oh. Come in. Hi, Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a room. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks, we've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. <gasps> Find Jeffries, chat later. Yes, ma'am. Okay, two things. That's our sister, apparently. Her name is Sam. Let's check in really quickly so that we can make sure. Work documents. Employee profile, Sam. How much older is she than us? She's a bit older. She's nine years older than us, so maybe that's why she's acting like the good older sister. She's 48. Uh, our mother is deceased. We're siblings. Okay. Yeah, it does mention that. Don't know our dad. Maybe we didn't need one. Maybe we're, like, genetically tweaked. Born to a single mother employed on Altera in City Station 749. Studied the Altera school circul Ugh. curriculum. What was that? Was that lightning? That was so cool. Okay, let's find out about our sister really quickly. Education suffered as a result. Uh, an interplant... Oh, because our family relocated to Allwell, an independent planetary research colony outside Altera space. But Goodall did not lose her cultural identity and returned to Altera space as soon as possible. So it seems like there's even some cultural competition going on here. Very interesting. To acquire digi training in advanced management and negotiation strategies. So she's been employed by a lot of the Altera companies and now it looks like she's working for Vesper Human Resources. And her psych assessment demonstrates strong reward-based motivation, well integrated with Altera corporate structure. It sounds like the corporate structure is actually the entire culture that we have stepped into. Extroverted, sensitive, thoughtful, judgmental. Okay, so that's our sister. Cool. And now we've got the little playthrough so we can listen to her voice anytime. How convenient. No doubt because these are monitored and being reported to our corporate overlords right now. Also, is this like the most cute patch of moss ever? Look at this room! I am in love with everything in here. Oh my gosh. This is my new happy place. If this place gets blown up, I will be so irate. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang in there, trees. All right, so it looks like Jeffries is missing. I don't have any clothes other than what I'm wearing, but I didn't suffer when I went out. So I think we'll be okay to start adventuring. Oh my gosh. All right, well, okay, I was trying to come over to these mech pods, but it looks like you have to go down to get into them first. This is so cool. Look at the mountains in the distance. Look at these ice flows. Oh, what is that? Oh, where's my scanner? I want a scanner. Oh, okay, what is my name again? Who am I? Am I Robin? I think I'm Robin. Robin, for crying out loud, where's your scanner? Look at this. Do you know how badly I want to just coo over these plants? But you don't have your scanner. Oh, I guess we'd have to construct one. 
I mean, one should be lying around here. Can I get into this? Man, look at you. You are ready for some serious business. All right, nothing there. I'm just gonna like triple. There's literally just food left out here. Wow, I guess we're really, really, really casual here, huh? All right, well, let's get moving. So we've got two paths. It looks like there's one down here. And then there's one over here. And the question is, which path is more likely to take me to Penguins? Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna destroy that snowman. Oh my gosh, because I wanted his gear. I didn't want to just be a jerk. My first kill. It is my first my first kill on this planet. But I guess Altera Space uh, dictates that you can only have a survival knife. You can't have any guns or anything else. So, hmm. All right, the snow does slow me down a little bit. Well, let's go ahead. Can I come down here? Sure enough. Maybe? Or, no. Nope. Ouch. Okay. Not cool. That really hurt. Is there anything under here? I'm already in a wetsuit, but this is apparently frozen over again. All right, that's climbing up really quickly to the top. All right, well, we have explored the base. The sun is beginning to set. Is that our sis? Hey, big sis. Okay, so she's hanging out in that ship overhead. I mean, so far? Like, seriously, so good. I thought this was going to start with panic and ships exploding in my face like usual. But instead, everything seems pretty calm. That may change as I wiggle over towards... Oh, is that my shadow? Jeez. Wow. Are you going to bite me? Don't bite. No bites. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's so cool and so freaking creepy. Oh, look at the amazing details behind you. You are so awesome. Where is my scanner? I want to be able to name these things. Oh, are they sleeping? I think they open up as you get close, but at night they close. That's so cool. Jeffrey, where are you? All right, so he's our tech. Okay. That's actually really useful. I'll know if they open up behind me that something is following me and possibly coming to eat me. But if we've left our food out, I don't even... Oh, is that a moon? Wow. I mean, I don't have anything. So I must not be too worried. And the suit... I swear I heard something. The suit I'm wearing should protect me. Because I'm not being hurt at all. All right, what's over here? Hello? Alien tech, okay, that's why we're here. Not for the adorable penguins. The corporate overlords want to go ahead and uh, just have us focus on, like probably like digging up and wow. Wow, this is so beautiful. Probably digging up and putting out all of the alien tech that's waiting here for us. But I, if I'm a Zingo linguist and we haven't seen alien life in, okay, since right freaking now. So this planet is covered with a bunch of alien technology. I wonder how much of it Altera has found over time. And this should be the research site, right? Jeffrey? This is really cool. Jeffrey? I will accept your presence or a penguin. Either's good. Okay. What's not so good is a big, giant, creepy, empty tunnel. Um, can I, can I possibly pick up any of these tools? Maybe. I can freaking make coffee in the middle of a cave on an alien planet, standing next to some sort of alien tomb that the conveniences of the future era. All right. Whew. Okay, this will be fine. Not fine. Not fine. Okay, and you know my name. my name. I come in peace. Yeah, that always works. The building just powered up. 
It spoke to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffreys. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. I think it's already here. That cavern isn't stable. I want you to get back to... Sam? Oh, Damn boy. It. Well, at least I've got the coffee. All right. Well, guys, I think things are starting to pick up from here, and it's going to get really interesting and fast-paced. So I'm going to catch my breath and count my dreams of penguins, or penguins, I suppose they're called, and get ready to dive in here. I already have goosebumps because I am so prone to jump scares and so prone to uh, very nervous, very nervous explorations. Oh, I swear I saw something move over there. Okay. All right. Well, oh, okay, we can do this. All right, guys, if you would like to join me on the next adventures as we start poking into this mysterious cavern and continuing in the very first steps of our journey in Below Zero, then do please consider subscribing. If you could, leave a like for the penguins, and I'm going to gather up my courage, and we are going to barrel through this next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.